Hi everyone, my name is Reagan Ortiz and I have the pleasure of sitting down with DC native Kiana Donaldson. Kiana just recently walked in New York Fashion Week 2018. Thank you for coming in with us today. No problem. So how many shows did you walk in during Fashion Week? During Fashion Week I walked in two actual shows, three events. It was an amazing experience. And can you like tell us who the designers were or what shows they were? Um, I did something called Runways on Fire as well as Pop the Runway. My favorite one was definitely the Pop the Runway show. Can you tell us why that one was your favorite? Yeah, um, I work for a designer, a walked for designer called Uzi Uzi. They're a Brazilian lingerie and swimwear collection and it's so amazing. It's very sexy but still mm -hmm. beautiful at the same time. Yeah. Um, so can you describe one of your favorite looks from New York Fashion Week? Um, for New York Fashion Week, I actually prepped with some of my home designers, um, Baytal, as well as Myobemia. They're both designers from DC, and they actually let me wear their collections during Fashion Week. And I would definitely say that I had a um, favorite from Baytal. It was a crop top with um, like knitted capris, and I wore those with mm -hmm. some um, over-the-knee boots, and they were so, it was such a good combination. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Um, for someone looking to get into modeling, um, what was the process of getting into New York Fashion Week? You pretty much just have to apply. Be very aware of things on social media, being aware of people that you might know, who they might know, being able to network, things like that. I um, actually was invited to do the Pop the Runway show while I was walking for the Runways on Fire show. A designer literally just walked up to me and asked me if I could stay another day in New York and do the show for them. And luckily I did. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a great experience. So, um, so how did you get into modeling? Um, I started modeling when I was 14, 15, so it's about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Barbizon USA. It's a modeling and acting school that's based in Tampa, Florida, but they have like little sites everywhere. And I completed that and it helps with building your basic knowledge to the whole modeling industry. Um, it helps build confidence, your knowledge for the basics of the basics, your walks, your model tote bag, um, being able to survive pretty much in the modeling industry. And I did that and it just took off from there. Mm -hmm. um, so do you have any advice for any aspiring models by any chance? Yeah, honestly, you just have to go for it. Go for it and apply yourself. Um, take all opportunities as good opportunities. There's no such thing as wasting your time because even if it's not what you expect it to be, you can still network, you can still build your experience and better yourself. That's really good advice. Um, so what has been your favorite um, work that you've done, whether it's shoot or runway? Well, my favorite experience is working with um, Project Runway's Kate Pocono. Um, she has a bridal collection and last year I walked for Lolly Locks in her collection. They collab together. Lolly Locks provided wigs for all models and then cake design gowns for the models to actually wear. It was amazing. It was like a fundraising type of event as well. They raised thousands of dollars for cancer patients. It was beautiful. The scenery and everything, the decor, amazing. The best show I've probably ever done, ever. Um, so is there any model who inspires your craft? Yes, there actually is. Um, I look up to quite a few people, um, but I would definitely say there's a model named Destiny on Instagram, you can see her at Uwawa. She is from DC mm -hmm. and she pretty much bangs everything, print work, runway, her own like personal career, her brand is so high. I'm like sort of kind of like looking up to her mm -hmm. to help me guide myself as well. Um, did you have any um, celebrity sightings while at New York Fashion Week? Yes, I did. The kids from Power were at the Pop the Runway show. Um, it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, just too starstruck as I'm walking across the runway. <laughs> Speaking about walking across the runway, what are your thoughts as you're walking on a runway? Like, <laughs> mine, I'd be like, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall. Like, what is going through your mind? What goes through my mind as I am walking down the runway is to make sure that I'm arching my back, which is like pretty much leading with my waist. Also pick up my feet, because I refuse to fall. And to make sure that my face is very pleasing. 
because you can say or have like a look that you want to achieve in your head mm -hmm. but sometimes it's not what's actually yeah. out there so you have to like just be really aware mm -hmm. um so um did any like big disaster happen before the show or like what's the craziest thing that <laughs> happened behind the scenes um, I did a show, I'm not even going to say which show it was, <laughs> but it was pretty unorganized and everything was very chaotic. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could see it um, in the audience, but backstage it was hectic as far as making sure hair, is, hair and makeup is done um, and all the models knew which designers they're walking for, when the designers were going to do their walk. It was crazy, but they all made it happen. It came together and it was a pretty good production. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, do you want to give everyone your social media so they can follow you? Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at fashionably.kiana. And then also I'm on Facebook, Kiana Janae. Yeah, thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm really happy I was able to come through for you guys. Thank you.